Morning, even afternoon. We got a bagger for y'all today, baby. We got a video from Josh here, as always. I'm putting his YouTube in the description, and this one is a great one. Go sub to him right now. This is Taco Bell, specifically a chalupa, which is one of my favorite things at Taco Bell, but he makes it better. This might have been one of my favorite food reaction videos. I hope y'all enjoyed this, and when you do, leave a like, hit the sub. Most importantly, be sure to tell somebody you love him. All right, I'll catch you in the next one. I, used to eat I don't know about this one, Josh. But today we're gonna make I'm a Taco Bell. Bell fan. All right. And on top of that, the Chalupa is my favorite one from T-Bell. Like, I like it so much, bro. I know the order off the top of my head, okay? Number six, Supreme, right? Chalupa Supreme, bro, please. So this is gonna be a tough one, Josh, all right? I gotta tell you, yours already looks better, though. Uh, so today we're making the Taco Bell Chalupa. How many have we done now with Taco Bell? One, two, three, four. Hey, Whips, we gotta do the Taco Bell ones, bro. Wait, listen, T-Bell... It's just so special to me, you know? I love Taco Bell, all right? Growing up, gaming, I would have a Baja Blast, Mountain Dew, right? And T-Bell, that's what, that's what it was all about. And it's my favorite, like that Crunchwrap Supreme. Uh -huh. Four? Vikram doesn't know, neither do I. It doesn't matter because the Taco Bell menu- I will is say Chalupa is like my favorite. Menu from the pits of hell. So Stop. Speak. And for some reason- Hey Josh, those fighting words, bro. People, and I don't know why. And the Chalupa is one of those things. I remember as a kid, I would eat it and I'm like, oh, I'm eating this. Even cognizantly, I didn't like it. But it's one of the few but better items we've done that I actually ate regularly as a kid. And I don't know why. So with all that being said, let's- Chalupas are lit, bro. KFC or a Taco Bell. They're a hybrid, bro. It's kind of like a Prius. Supremes? Uh, no, that's it. Thank you. Wow. Oh my goodness. The building is like dripping. It's building a one out of 10, menu one out of 10. That's two one out of 10 so far. But the service is fast, so that's probably gonna get a high rating. You want a new sure, yeah, I'll take two packets. Two You're doing good, thank you. Honestly, <laughs> service was great. I think that's the best service we've ever had on Bud Better. It's a little cheeky, she's like trying to multitask, and I'm like, oh, you're doing great, girl. So honestly, <laughs> 10 out of 10, great service. Jesus, let's just get this over with. So we've got the bag. I used to eat these there's something about Taco Bell, like that. It's just, ah, oh, man, I'm fat, right? I don't think I have to tell you all that. But like, if you've been in a situation, you know, sometimes you get your Taco Bell and it just smacks. You know what I mean? You might have had a couple drinks, but even if even if you don't drink, like, there's just moments where you order T Bell and it's in front of you, and that right, that moment right there, right before you're like, oh my gosh, I'm about to eat T Bell, and that first bite. Mm. This when I was a kid, honestly, kind of excited. I mean, some T Bell, bro. And now I'm not. First off, this chalupa shell has been sitting for an extraordinary amount of time, I can just tell. The amount of chew needed to masticate this, 75% more chewing than necessary. The flavor's all right, it tastes like Taco Bell. The ground meat, it's seasoned not bad. I, I feel like the last time we did Taco Bell, the meat was way worse. It feels like it's gotten better. Maybe they dialed it up. The cheese is cold, which I hate. Flavors are basic. Lettuce, flaccid, tomatoes, desaturated. But the worst part of all of this, this chalupa shell, it's not just about the texture. It's the fact that while you're eating it, you're like, did I just bite into like a poison ivy leaf? <laughs> So what? Come bitter. on! Oil has maybe been recycled in the last 17 days. Just get the new oil, Taco Bell, please. We're gonna make this much better. We're back on our Taco Bell bowl. I mean, Josh's right. looks First, way better. A nice basic queso sauce. This is not nacho cheese. This is Texas queso. Don't get it confused. This is the neon stuff served at every Tex-Mex restaurant with a never-ending supply of tortilla chips. In a medium sauce pot, add two tablespoons. Which of might I also add, dude? I'm so fat, bro. Like literally, I'll go to those restaurants. I'll eat seven like baskets of chips by myself with guac and salsa. And Heat that over medium. Okay, so I'm that I'm that guy. Onion, you know, finely diced. One seeded and diced poblano pepper. Three cloves of finely chopped. Garlic, like if you got chips next taste. to me, just Put know I'm going ham. You know what I'm saying? To soften, then add one tablespoon or nine grams of all-purpose flour. Cook and stir for one to two minutes, then add one and a half cups or 360 milliliters of whole milk. Continue to heat and stir constantly, just until the milk begins to thicken. You know, I'll act thick. Cut off the heat and mix in a third pound or 150 grams of grated American cheese. Yes, the fake stuff. Trust me here. Half a pound or 220 I love American cheese, bro. Cheese. There's like, my wife, I don't know, she like doesn't like when I eat it or something because it's like processed or fake or whatever. I'm like, whatever, babe. You know what I mean? That yellow slice of American cheese or the white slice of American cheese. Mm. Until everything is melted and you have a beautiful cheese sauce. Season with additional salt and pepper as needed, and that's your cheese sauce. Anyone that's been to Texas knows the sacred qualities of this cheese alchemy. Now just keep that puppy warm and covered. Taco Bell seasoned beef. Iconic, horrible, I don't know what else to say. I made a few mods to my recipe to- I don't know why, but I feel personally attacked for Taco Bell, bro. Even better, so you're welcome, I guess. First, you'll need one and a quarter pound or 560 grams of relatively- Although y'all know me with Taco 
Taco right, Bell, right? I, I don't think I got to tell that story again. Texas Wagyu Comment down below. Or pound or 112 grams of I'm not going to tell the whole story again, but if you've heard me tell the Taco Bell story, you can comment down below and you can educate someone that may not know what happened with me and T-Bell. <laughs> but try to find something around 70 to 75% lean, okay? Tired of seeing people Maybe someday. Lean. You got that ground beef that's drier than the sand dunes. People are motorbiking around on Instagram. I gotta turn this up, I'm sorry. Sauce pot, over medium high, once it's hot like me, in Lululemon leggings. Excuse me. Beef, press it hey, yo, Josh. And sear for three minutes or until you get some nice browning. At this point, you can mix it up. Ideally, you can use a masher to get the beef extra fine, which if you want that Taco Bell type ground beef, you're gonna want it as fine as possible. Let that continue to sear, stirring often, until Get some little I always do these food videos when I'm hungry. It's such a mistake. Add two tablespoons or 35 grams of tomato paste. I just want to eat for about one minute about. until you develop a nice fond at the bottom. Now add one and a half teaspoons or two grams of cumin powder, half a teaspoon or one gram of onion powder, one teaspoon or one gram of mushroom soup base powder. Trust me, that's a secret chef. Mushroom soup powder? powder? I didn't even know that was a thing. Black pepper and salt to taste. Cook that for 30 seconds or until fragrant. Then add one cup or 240 milliliters of water. Bring that up to a boil over medium high, scraping that fond off the bottom. Reduce the heat to low. And simmer that down until you reach what's called aw sec, which essentially means there's almost no liquid remaining. About 10 to 15 minutes. Cut off the heat and stir in four cloves of very finely chopped garlic. Do not cook the garlic after this. Trust me, it's the raw qualities that are going to make your little piggies curl. Now, your chalupa. <laughs> Shockingly easy. And you don't need any fancy equipment at all. So yay, you can stop yelling at me about fancy equipment, which by the way will be challenging in an upcoming video. Keep your eyes peeled. Make sure you have a pot of frying oil heated to about 350 Fahrenheit. I don't know so what a chalupa shell oil, is. Five, four, in a medium sized Bowl, is it, add two and a half cups or 375 is it just like grams of all flour, chip, one basically? teaspoon or seven grams of fine sea salt, one tablespoon or 15 grams of granulated sugar, two and a half teaspoons or 11 grams of baking powder. Whisk all that together and then add one cup or 240 milliliters of whole milk and two tablespoons or 30 grams of vegetable oil. Mix that by hand until you form a rough dough, then knead that bad boy for two to four minutes or until so it's like a, beautiful that was flour, right? Eh? So that's like a flour shell. I give him a little kiss, look at him. <laughs> Cover him up and let him rest for 15 minutes. Then divide your dough into eight even pieces. And for the perfectionists around, that'll be about 67 grams each. Roll your dough pieces into light balls, then using a rolling pin, roll them out into discs that are about six inches across. Then using a fork, lightly poke holes throughout the entire rolled dough. Gently lay one piece of dough into your heated frying oil and allow to fry for huh. 15 seconds, then remove and form I had no idea. Using tongs. Place that back like in your frying oil. what that consisted of. Tongs do hold that shape together and fry for another 30 seconds or until it holds its shape when you let it go. Continue to fry until golden brown, another one to two minutes, then remove from the fryer. Train in a wire That does look season, way better than Taco Bells, Bells, I can't lie. with all of your chalupa dough. I was pretty surprised with how similar these smelled that looked like the original Taco Bell chalupa shell, except significantly better. We're almost there. We just need to talk toppings. Lettuce. Always an afterthought, not anymore. Because I love iceberg lettuce and it deserves a pedestal. No one puts iceberg in the corner. So to make this more thoughtful, first a medium-sized bowl, add half a head of thinly sliced iceberg lettuce, half a jicama, peeled and julienne, and about three tablespoons or 11 grams of very finely chopped. Look at that. Look at that knife together, work, bro. That was incredible, Josh. Oh, that's it. For your ah. cheese topping in a medium-sized bowl, you'll simply combine one cup or 200 grams of Monterey cheese, fresh grated, and one cup or 200 grams of cheddar cheese, also fresh grated. For the tomato, I kept it simple, but slightly elevated. I love how Josh fresh grades diced. everything, bro. So it makes a huge pepper, difference with cheese, too, an IMO. Olive oil for richness. Toss together until thoroughly coated. Now, for the assembly we've all been waiting for. First, your puffy chalupa shell. At this point, you should check and see. Is your queso hot and in a liquid state? Is your beef reheated and ready to be put on? This is a good time to do all those things. Now, open up a beautiful chalupa shell. Layer a hot helping of your seasoned beef. Press it down to the bottom to form a nice, stable base. Mm. Follow that with a fair mm. layer of your queso. A nice, generous helping of full-fat sour cream. Yes. Finally, your fragrant iceberg Why am I, I so like excited? I of cold cheese for some reason because Taco Bell doesn't, and I still don't understand why. And a little bit of your diced tomato. Frankly, with the way that this is assembled, you could probably remove the tomato and cheese on top and it would likely make no difference, but we're trying to be accurate while also being better here. So that being said, let's go to our taste test and find our way. Yeah, I can already tell that's a million times better, right? I do not know why we didn't do this sooner. I feel like my childhood's rushing back to me, but in a different way. There are reminiscent Taco Bell flavors going on in my mouth right now. It's hitting to the left, to the right, but every single thing is turned all the way up. First off, the texture of this, it's crispy on the outside, but puffy, soft, aerated on the inside. Melts in your mouth right away. By the way, this is in no way traditional. Chalupa shell whatsoever. Just putting that out there. The oh, queso okay. and the sour cream become See, I didn't one. know that. Queso That's good to know, cream. actually. The tomatoes, they're fresh, they're vibrant, not desaturated. And of course, the lettuce brings it home with a little bit of extra crunch from the jicama. I mean, come on. It's an easy dub. But we can't decide a winner without a taste test. I mean, Woo, you can fast. just tell. 
when it's like in it's Taco like, Bell. What do you expect? You the size of it in your mouth, right? Oh my god. You guys know what I'm saying though. Like you can tell immediately which one's gonna be T well it's, the, like I don't even know if the black folds black 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 necessary black is what I'm saying. I'm gonna give you number one. I cut them both so you wouldn't know which one's which. Hold your hand like overhanded. There you go. Number two. It was clear from the get-go. <laughs> The first one is better. The second one, other than it being like flat, there's a lot more flavors in Josh's version. You can taste the beef. You can taste the cheese. This one is kind of just one single yeah. tone. I can taste salt. I want that chalupa that Josh made. I can't lie. It's not necessarily a bad thing. Let me rephrase that. It's a bad thing, but also <laughs> you at least know what you're gonna get. At least Taco Bell's consistently okay. You already know we have full <laughs> control when we make That's things. a good way to explain it. Sorry. <laughs> But above all, if you want the best version, you start here. But do you want to know what else starts here? B-roll. B-roll. That's how I know I've been reacting to Josh a lot. Oh, man. Now I'm just sitting here craving Taco Bell, dude. I am so fat. I'm so fat. It's so funny, though, because obviously Josh's was like a million times better. But I st I'll still eat. I'll still eat T-Bell, man. You know what I'm saying?